You're watching News 10 ABC at 9 a.m. Welcome back into the News 10 Kitchen. There are so many incredible restaurants and cuisines here in the Capital Region, as you know. And now there is a new way to celebrate all that diversity with some discounts. We are live in the News 10 Kitchen with Jennifer Zhao, also from the International Center of the Capital Region. And we also have John Velez from the Moliendo's Cafe to talk more about this new cultural food passport. Thank you both for coming today. Thank you. For Thank you so much you. for having us. So tell me more about this passport and how it works. We have a couple of them right here, by the way. Thank you. Yeah, so the International Center has been in the capital region since 1956. We're wow. a very tradition of uh, uh, organization with a lot of tradition and mm -hmm. connecting people and helping immigrants and refugees but more recently we are bringing international visitors to the region yes. as well as connecting the local um, co communities here so one of the things we thought about to how to do that is that everybody eats right everybody, everybody shares eats. food and, and we, we love, love food, that everybody <laughs> and it's a great way to learn about a new culture so we had the idea of creating a passport that allows people to explore many of the unique ethnic restaurants that are in the capital region and what Moliendo Cafe is one of them. Perfect. So you are going to be in here as one of the restaurants. How many restaurants do we have before we talk about this food? Because I'm dying to try some <laughs> of it. How many are in there? We have 15 restaurants and each of them have various different discounts. So it's a great way for people to get a little bit of a discount when mm -hmm. they first visit a restaurant. And then if they collect 10 or more stamps from those restaurants, then they get a gift from the International Center. That is so smart to have the stamps just like a passport. Okay, John, I've been holding back. I'm <laughs> smelling the smells. It is amazing here. Now, your specific cuisine is Colombian, correct? Colombia, yes. So what did you bring for us? All right. Um, first of all, um, we are so excited to participate in the passport because we are more than more the thankful for bring more communities mm -hmm. and explore and enjoy our food from Colombia. Everything is made in the restaurant. Everything is by a specific chef from Colombia mm -hmm. also, including me. Authentic. And we have the empanadas. I don't know if you were talking about empanadas. Oh, yes. Our empanadas is look like a kind of different because we are in cornmeal. It's not like flour. Mm -hmm. It's just cornmeal. We Does have that a bring the bright color to it? Yes. Okay. It's chicken, beef, and cheese. Okay, what should we, should I try this one? That's the chicken, yes. Do you all want to join me in having one of these? Would you like chicken, beef, or cheese? Sure, think? I'll okay. have cheese. Cheese, is this cheese here? Yeah, that's okay. a cheese one. All right, we all you. like to eat here. And You're welcome to eat your own food. Yeah, and we, we have uh, the buñuelos and pan de bonos, and we had another sweet empanada, mm. it's the cambrai. It mm. had the guava and cheese inside, mm. malte. Okay. Guava is one of my favorite really things, because I'm from South Florida. Tell people at home what guava is. Guava is a paste. Mm -hmm. It's from the fruit, it came from the fruit, it's called guayaba. Mm -hmm. In Colombia we call it guayaba, but in English it would be guava. But it's very sweet fruit. It comes with, uh, with some seeds inside, and we make it from there. And you mix it with the cheese and that. By yeah. the way, this is flavored so perfectly. It is cooked perfectly. You can try one of our sauce also. It's browned, I mean, just right. This is delicious. But you also have one more surprise. Yes. What did you bring us here? This looks so good too. We have the Colombian tamales, different kinds of different tamales because it's mm -hmm. different regions in my country. But I bring in the most common is the, Colum the, the tamal from Del Valle. We call it bayunos. Then we just open it up, right? What do you have it tied with here? It's tied with a, a little um, string. Yeah, strings, yes. Okay. It's different. The thing that we wrap all this food inside to the plantain leaf. Okay. All right, and this is what they bring in the more flavor. Look at this, he's unwrapping it like a present. I can hear we're getting the countdown right now, so I'm yes. hoping we can see it before see it. we no, go. You're gonna open and see. John, okay. you mentioned this is also a special Christmas food. Right? Yeah, is this it? is, we eat it in Christmas. We eat it with the rice, <gasps> we eat it with the arepita, and Ooh. we can. It can chicken, pork, and beef with Amazing. some potatoes some green peas and carrots inside with the, all the seeds on the front Colombia. Okay, and I have to do this because we eat everything here in the News 10 kitchen. I have <laughs> to try this because it's going to be delicious. What a unique way though you guys have to try different cultures, different foods, and you can learn about people in the capital region. Before we go, tell us how we can get this passport as I'm eating. So you can find the passport on the International Center website, iccralbany.org. <laughs> 
there is a, a link right in the front page and you can join as a member and you'll get a password in the mail. Amazing. Thank you both for coming and thank you for that. Oh and my God, the pork was thank you to so die much. for. We'll be right back with one last look at that forecast. I'm just going to keep eating as we go.